home and politics rarely mix well. But the figure of the late United Farm Workers leader, Cesar Chavez, brought the two together one evening in Washington. We are at the U.S. Capitol, where a special screening of the movie Cesar Chavez about the United Farm Workers leader is taking place. The film stars Michael Peña as Chavez and John Malkovich as one of his opponents. So who the hell is this Cesar Chavez? Exactly says director Diego Luna. Surprised that no one has told the story of Cesar Chavez in, in, in a film. Mm -hmm. uh, there's documentaries, but, but there, his life hasn't been celebrated in film. And I believe it's important that young generations get to know who he was. America Ferrera, who plays Chavez's wife Helen, talks about the private man. And there was um, conflict and a push and pull between Caesar, the leader of this movement, and Caesar, the husband and father of this family. It's a movement that promoted nonviolence as a tool of change, it promoted ideas, and, uh, and it was a very weak community that happened to collapse one of the most powerful industries of California and the whole country. And you think cinema is also a tool for social change? Definitely, cinema can raise the questions, start debates, and uh, bring important themes to, to a bigger audience, you know. I know there's films that have changed my life. I know it's possible, so that's why I guess I do it. And film can be very powerful, so definitely, yeah. The Bicycle Thief, for example, <laughs> it allowed me to have a, a relation with my father, you know. It, it, it taught me a lot. Uh, about being a son and today being a father. You introduced the subject of Cesar Chavez being aware that while he was doing this, didn't take care of his own children. How does this resonate with you as a dad? Every time I try to tell a story, I end up telling a story of a father and a son, you know? And that's because of what worries me and, and where I am right now, you know? I have two kids and I, and I see everything from that perspective. And I think that's what makes the film universal because everyone's a father or a son. Or a mother. Helen raised their eight children pretty much on her own. She did raise the kids. She went out into the fields to work and make money to put food on the table while he sometimes was out pamphleting and beginning the movement. She, at the same time, the role that she played in the household, raising eight children, you know, being an uh, ally to Caesar so that he could do what he did, those are, you know, those are, um, that, those are actions of support that shouldn't be any less important. The citizens of Delano, they respect the law. So do we, especially the Bill of Rights. Hey, the show never ends on the Movies for Grown Ups channel. Add your review in the comments section below. Then subscribe, like, and check back next week for more Movies for Grown Ups.